Welcome back everyone, I'm Zell, and today we've got a Tuya knife to look at. Uh, Dave Warren, Tuya Knives U.S. representative, sent this over, and it is kind of a cool one. First off, let's look at the packaging. Tuya has been sending their knives uh, besides the D2 and G10. Anything above that, they've been sending them in these nice pouches. Got a little thing back here, you guys that know about the molly stuff you can tell me if that works or not uh but nice nice little package got a two little pouches over here that you put drivers in or something and then a nice big pouch over here to slide a knife down in or in the case of the knife we're about to look at you can probably put like five of them in there because we are looking at the sns <clears throat> the sunday night special and this is a somewhat new one from Tuya. And it's another one of those small knives. Now, I say small knife. It's not as small as some. We'll get some comparisons out just to get a look. All right, so a lot of my knives are in various places right now because of Blade Show, some other things. But there is a mass drop gent. So we're really not too far from the blade length on the gent. And, you know, we're, of course, bigger than the ladybug. Or the manly bug. And smaller than our vapor. So, hope that gives you a bit of an idea on size of this thing. We'll go ahead and we got a U.S. penny we'll throw out here. And we'll get a regular old Delica out here. So, yeah, it's a small knife, but it's not a super small knife. It's not quite in that little big knife category, but not far from it. Let's get a look at how this thing is put together. <clears throat> We've got titanium handle scales. And uh, just like a full-size knife, we've got a lock bar insert down in there. And we've got... A uh, oh, flat screwdriver pivot, which is better than what we've seen on some. And I have not taken this apart, but I think it does still have a free spinning pivot. But do not quote me on that. Somebody that knows better than me may be able to answer it because I have not had it apart. We've got a nice size lanyard hole for a small knife and a really good looking backspacer. Even just a little bit extra style in that backspacer. I appreciate that. Uh, got some jimping up across the top of the blade, and man, everything just looks really good. And we've already done some comparisons, so let me bring up our notes on this guy. And uh, it's not a joke. 1.41 ounces, unless my scales are completely broke. <laughs> That's pretty impressive for a full titanium knife with s 35 v in steel. And... Let's get a look at that little blade. Now, I said in a video yesterday, or a few days ago, I'm not sure when it actually went up, that this is a knife that's making me believe in recurves a little bit. And I am famously against the recurve because of the sharpening aspect. But as these knife companies are getting better and better at delivering a sharp blade, that means that I can take care of the blade with a sharp maker and not have to pull the wicked edge out or not have to pull out the uh, KME and you know go full on on them and I do have a rod for the KME that can sharpen this anyhow but the beautiful thing here is is you're still sharpening twice if you use a KME you're going to sharpen this area then you're going to sharpen this area if you're using the wicked edge same thing you're going to have to sharpen here and then sharpen here but it's no different than if you're using any other kind of stone. You're going to have to sharpen each area separately. So, yeah, since it's a real recurve without going crazy and without you know, being non-committal, I kind of like it. And I know, I know, I've been famously against the recurves, but that, uh, it just makes me smile that somebody did it right, I think. I think that's the big deal. Somebody did it right <clears throat> without getting into, you know, like a Norseman or something ridiculously expensive. So, 
well done there on Tuya. Now, Tuya, I'm not telling you to make all your knives recurves. I'm just telling you that you did this one right. So let's go on up here and look. We've got a good swedge. We've got a nice stone wash on the blade. Uh, for bannering, we got the Tuya knife logo, which I rather like. Uh, I, I am going to pick on it just a little bit. As cool as that little logo is, on this particular knife, it would have fit up on this flat way better and looked way cooler up on that flat. On the other side, we have uh, the blade steel and the knife number down here out of, I forget how many of these there are, but uh, it was a numbered bunch of knives. <clears throat> and then we have to you knife. Now, guys over to you, Dave and uh, the folks over there, uh, let's get the to you knife off the blades Let's leave the cool little logo somewhere on a flat or something. You know, let's let's do more like Wii's doing and like Best Tech's moving towards <clears throat> and like ZT does on most of their blades where you've got the big ZT logo, but it's usually on a flat somewhere and it's not too massive. And uh, from what Best Tech tells me, they're going to just a Best Tech logo on theirs no more name of the knife on the other side and we all know what we does you know it's we can look at a wee blade right here there's nothing not nothing oh wait wait there's something if you look really close the blade steals down in there and we put some thought into hiding the blade steel and i'm sorry my voice is all messed up today guys i went to atlanta and everything was great and I'm only a couple days back from Atlanta, and I'm back here in this not quite 100% humidity and all the pollen floating around, and wow, is it getting me. So I, I've got the allergy meds going, but it ain't, hasn't fixed my voice yet. Okay, so anyhow, back to the bannering. The S35VN right there, not a problem. The numbering right there, not a problem. But let's get the big Tuya knife off of the blade and let's uh, let everybody know what your logo is but let's make it really cool looking up there on that flat or something all right enough fuss about the blade it is uh feels to be flat ground which is really weird for a recurve but it feels like it is so we're going with it and uh that that's a good looking one and there you go. That's a look at the blade. Now we'll go to our pause and read card, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so let's move along to mechanics and ergonomics. Mechanically, guys, this thing is just like a big knife. We've already talked about it a little bit. We got a uh, lock bar insert. We've got a decent pocket clip. We've got bearings, backing washers, everything on the inside. It is a frame lock. We've got very reasonable and good lockup. We've got an over-travel stop you can see down in there. And we've got just a beautiful little action. And we'll even get a look at that pocket clip, even though I don't figure most of you will be using it. because. But there you go. In a regular pair of Levi's, it's going to work just fine. Now, being a small knife like that, it probably is not going to work great uh, in thicker pants, you know, your 5.11s, your Carhartts, all that kind of stuff, because, well, it's a little knife, guys. We're, we can't expect everything. Uh, and let's move on along to ergonomics and get this all gathered up. Ergonomically, it is about a three-finger knife, maybe three and a quarter, and it, it works just fine. Getting it around like this, sure, you can do it. Draw cuts, absolutely. Big push cuts, absolutely. Little pinch cuts, that's what these little knives are designed for, guys. And overall, I don't find any hot spots. I don't find any freakiness in the knife. And uh, overall, it's just a cool little knife. And uh, I think they're selling it over at Warren Blades for just under 100 bucks. And... Uh, I can't find anything really wrong with it. The only thing to be aware of is the recurve. If you don't have the sharpening equipment for the recurve, I really implore you to get yourself a Spyderco Sharpmaker 
and uh, learn how to use it. Sal's got a good video. That'd be Sal Glesser, the owner of Spyderco, has a good video covering all the uses of the Sharp Maker, and I'm pretty sure it's out on YouTube, so easy to get to. But this guy right here uh, is just another one of the small knives that is really killing it. If you go through from uh, the, was it, the Wisp with Wii, the 3.2 inch one, and work your way all the way back down to some of the best techs, the Reich knives, the Tuya knives, they're all building great, great small knives. Tuya included here. Best Tech's got several of them. Wii doesn't have any really small stuff yet. They have an integral coming. But they've got several in that uh, just over three and just under three inch category. And it is just a beautiful thing to see these smaller knives with really slicey blade stock. Now I am going to pick on one thing for all the brands, except we this time. Uh, these little bitty knives like this, if you're going to have a pocket clip on them, they need to be tip up right and left hand. And the reason for that is, for those of you making knives and maybe not over here in the States carrying knives every day, these little knives quite often get carried off hand. Meaning if a right-handed carrier is going to carry something, well, something like this big old Goody Van Poppel Ferox, then in their left pocket, they may be carrying something like this gent or smaller. And uh, if you get a look here, this gent is set up for left-hand carry. That's because that's where I've been using it, is left-hand carry. Because it's a cool, small little knife that stays out of the way can take care of the majority of my tasks without me digging something like a Ferox or what do we got here? This one is the uh, Wasabi or any of these things out of my pocket. So guys out there building these and designing these and uh, yeah, I know I'm even guilty of it with the Roxy between my brother and I uh, really need to get a left-handed carry option so anyhow guys that is let me get these old wee knives out of the way there that is the sunday night special from tuya a really cool little blade with a really great action great materials and a recurve that is a recurve but it's more than a non-committal and not crazy so a little blade that I'm kind of liking. You guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check us out at theapexnews.com. And don't forget to watch the Apex every week right here on the Zoric YouTube channel. And you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.